All right, so here we are. Uh, let's see how fast, how long we can last. If I can last two seconds, that'd be great. Uh, Hi there. Here. Yep, there it is. Yo, how's it going, everybody? My name is Armando, and welcome back to another Dead Frontier video. So I'm gonna keep the intro real short this time, uh, and I'm just gonna get straight to the point. So first things first, let me give a huge shout out to Ronald here. Uh, he was pretty much offered to lend me the, the Fat Man's Cryothoror, and honestly, I'm pretty excited about with this one, you know, because a lot of people were basically making the comparison between both of these weapons, and I'm really curious to see how both of these perform in the Wasteland. I should honestly focus more on Death Run, or Death Row, but really, I always, you know, try it there because that's where most people go to grind. It's just constant aggro. You don't have to look for it and it doesn't sneak up on you. I, I feel like it there better, to be honest. But yeah, again, excited to see the difference between these two. And if you guys want to also, you know, lend me some weapons for some video reviews, again, I'll be more than happy to take him. IGN is Kazers443. And my Discord is in the description below. So yeah, if you guys want to offer some weapons that maybe you guys want to see reviews of, just let me know. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's just get you the wasteland. All right, guys, so I'm going to be a little gutsy and try this out on a devil hound in the wasteland there's multiple bosses that are uh, two down one left but if i can get rid of that devil hound uh, pretty much everything is free score so yeah let's just get down there if i die i die and i'll just focus purely on just you know the mobs which again i, I need to like i'm gonna make another video explaining my journey for this next couple months on that frontier but yeah let's just go all right so here we are uh let's see how fast how long we can last if i can last two seconds that'd be great uh it should be here yep there it is Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is, oh yeah, what are you gonna do, there's supposed to be more more bosses in here, I believe, I think, yeah, there's, uh, there should be more, but yeah, right off the rip, already loving it, already loving it, um, and obviously you can switch it around a little bit, that'd be great, but there you go, this is where the Fat Man uh, crowd uh, launcher pretty much just, just comes into action, you know, and there's a Wraith, alright, so I always said this, <laughs> as a minute that Frontier unleashes, like um, weapons that can give status effect is the day that I'm gonna be hopefully around so I can cop one but unfortunately I was gone for two years so I didn't cop one of the most strongest weapons which is a slow slow down weapon you know I mean obviously I'm shooting my pants right now because the aggro is just insane but yeah uh, the slow slow down effect on this is just gonna be amazing and I already knew that but in terms of damage you know the, the cry launcher What's this? You or the cryo launcher or the cryo thrower? Sorry about that. Isn't really gonna shine too much there because think about it. This thing had this the damage of the sand scorcher. I think that's where I would use the race cannon less and definitely the fat man's cryo launcher. Cryo thrower a lot more. I gotta stop calling it that. I'm more afraid of the aggro than I am of the boss. Imagine if the flamethrower or the sand scorcher like negated the, the effects of the of the cryo thrower. That'd be funny. And that's where these guys come in and just try to like jump me at the yeah. That's unfortunate. Awesome. Yep. See, like, ah, oh, I hate that they're pushing each other. It's so annoying. You know, it's really funny just switching between both. I mean, I kill this thing, it's over for the other raids. So again, I'm not these powerful guys out there that has like 80% speed boost, but I will have it one day. But obviously, like, if I can just not have that much speed boost, that'd be great. But that's my goal. I always said this, and back then, if, if they can't touch you, they can never kill you. You know, it doesn't matter how strong they they bite you or hit you. But as long as they can't touch you, they can't kill you. Again, I just hate that that race is literally helping him out. Boy, I think I got a cramp in my neck over here right now. Yo, bro, I haven't even done a, a half of his health. Hey, yo. Hopefully I have enough gas for this thing, man. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is definitely not like a weapon to just really destroy things in two hits, you know, or ten hits. It's definitely a weapon just to slow them down enough where you're able to just, you know, strategically, um, I mean, I, I almost I got cocky there. Or you're able to strategically just move back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, if it's just him, he's not scaring me. But when that other wraith comes in, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'd be so funny if, like, the, the sand scorcher negates the freeze. I <laughs> really, that'd be hilarious. Whew, just slowly but surely we're gonna get there and kill this thing. Uh, very, very slowly for sure. Yeah, man. That, that thing eats a lot of gas. And this thing takes a lot of hits. That's why I hate. That's why I hate killing these things, man. <laughs> Yo, I, be, I feel like I barely done a scratch on you, bro. Are you good? Oh, like that. Lol. Oh, woohoo! Look at that turn. I call that the 360 no scapey. Well, escapey. Not the 360 no escapey. The 360 escapey. 
Oh, I think I'm already 40 years old, guys. Jesus, this guy takes a big of a hit, man. After that, I'm gonna focus on the raids, and you know, I'm just gonna take care of him after that. One hit, I'm pretty much dead. I don't have nothing to really back me up if I get hit. Oh my darling, oh my darling! Ah, forgot to freeze him. Ah, that's why I love these type of weapons, man. They just slow them down. It's just, it's so satisfying to just do that to them. Hey Siri, answer. Answer the phone. Hello? Hi, honey. Sorry, I was making a video. What? All oh, that for a master crafted sledgehammer? Yo, where's the other one? There she is. Come over here. If I die here, I really don't care, but damn, all that for a master crafted sledgehammer? Really? Dude, that blows. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, that really blows. Now, is she gonna give me something better? I hope. I really hope. Oh, there's a way to make a boss. Nah, she, it's just her range is too long and she just hits you before she even gets to you. Ooh, come on. She's almost dead, bro. I had to, had to get the hellstorm out because, bro, <laughs> she's taking forever to die, man. <laughs> I think this is the part that I like the most is when they're close to death, most of the time, every time you hit them with anything, they just start having so much of back on them because they're weak. I kind of hate that, but with this thing, even if they get closer, she's just not going to be, you know, oh god, this one does something, I don't know what it does. Oh, she passed away, nice. Honestly, the Wasteland aggro is way easier than Death Row. Uh, it's just my two cents. I can't get it because of the freaking aggro. Alright, last armor, really. This is my last armor. I really hope I don't mess it up. Come on. Almost out of gas, too. Jeez. I really did not come prepared for this fight, huh? Alright, there you go. She's almost gone now. Alright, come on, sir. Just keep running at me. Just keep running. Just keep running. Okay. Oh, no. They're nearby. There you go. Okay. So just run, Armando. Run for the loot. There's another loot, too. Oh! And we got, uh... Okay. Master crafting. I shouldn't really... I probably should just run around, man. I still gotta kill that mother. Yo, know, this, this has been a very long video review. <laughs> okay, everything is mastercrafted. No. Yeah. Yeesh! Bro, where did she go? Where, where's the mother? Oh my god, you're so annoying. She's so close to dying. It's unbelievable. Please die. Oh my god, I better be careful. She, her, I heard her explosions can like kill you in one hit, so I'm just gonna be very, very careful. Ooh. I'm gonna get close to there you go. Boom. And it's over. Oh my god, it's over. Uh, what do we get? Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Alright, so I think you guys get the gist of this combo, right? This combo is good. Okay, let's just get back to the bunker. Oof, and there we go. This is why I'm so hesitant to kill bosses, man. I just They just take too long. <laughs> Anyway guys, final thoughts on the Fat Man's Cryo Thrower. Honestly, I really wish I was here for this event or for that um for when it came out because I, I just love everything about it. It just slows them down to the point that you're able to you're able to comfortably be just take down that boss with no really hesitation. This is good. I love it. I wish I had it. Um and I wish I again I wish I bought it that day it came out. But overall, yeah, this duel between the Sand Scorcher and the Cryo Thrower is, is pretty nice. <laughs> you know? And if you have the, the Wraith Cannon, it just makes it a lot easier. You know, unlimited, you got something that slows things down, you got something that does mass damage to an area, which is, ugh, what a beautiful combo. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Before we end the video, let's just see how much money we made from that fight. I think I lost more money fighting them than I did making, but eh, 80k, perfect. Uh, 48k, oh, that's not bad. Uh, another 48k, so in this fight, I made, oh. Pretty good. I made 200k. That's uh, that's pretty good actually. <laughs> and we scrapped this. Nah, I'm just playing. I was playing. So yeah, guys, pretty much it for this video. This is Armani signing out, and I can't wait you guys to see you guys in the next one. So yeah, peace.